I'm very excited to talk to you both. This movie has so much emotion in it. I mean, there's, uh, you know, whenever you put music to something, automatically you kind of bring it out of yourself too. So um, before you actually started, did you both listen to the song and did it mean something to you different before you actually started working on this film? I mean, I listened to this song more times than I can count. <laughs> I heard the song originally back in 2013 when it was first released and hit number one on iTunes. And I, I love this song from the get go. So being able to, you know, uh, look at these songs through a new lens of uh, playing Zach in the movie was really interesting. I got to tap into his vocal tonality and just see where he was coming from in the times when he wrote the songs. And learning all of the songs was so much fun. They're, they're beautiful, well-written, and just a blast to play, especially with Sabrina, who's a powerhouse of musical talent. Uh, Nev, did you get a chance to listen to it before as well? Yeah, certainly. I mean, I, I, I wasn't aware of Zach's story or his song um, before the script was sent to me. But then, of course, once I had a conversation, read the script, had a conversation with Justin, I went down the rabbit hole of, you know, everything Zach and listening to his music and watching the documentary and was so touched. And it's such a great song, honestly. Um, and it has obviously inspired a lot of people and touched a lot of people. Um, so yeah, beautiful. And then of course we listened to it a lot during the making of the film. And every time I hear it, I still cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's, it, it's hard not to cry as you make the connections and you, uh, you listen to uh, the words as well. Um, both of you had some very great, uh, very good scenes together as well. So uh, can you talk about um, kind of fostering that uh, mother-son relationship? Did you do anything prior or was just kind of coming into it and thinking about the real characters? We spent some time together. We went and had dinner and bonded and opened up and talked a lot about our own families and our own experiences. I myself am a mother of two young boys, so it was not hard for me to go there. Um, Finn is a really, really special kid and, um, you know, a, a beautiful talent and very open and honest and humble. And, you know, that makes it easy. And um, we were both willing to to get raw, you know, and get real um, in order to honor these scenes and the truth behind them. Um, so I feel very, very grateful that Finn was cast because, you know, I don't think anyone could have done a better job, to be honest. The, the sentiment is 100% mutual. And I will say, I feel like it was so easy to foster a sense of familial love while preparing for this movie, just because we all felt we were a part of something greater. You know, we were telling a story that was important and had the potential to impact people's lives in a significant way. Uh, so the connection happened almost instantaneously. And everyone that was part of the cast was so supportive of one another. So there was, there was a love connection and it developed into different things for, for each um, you know, cast relationship. Like obviously we have the mother son dynamic and then there's like the friend dynamic and the romantic love dynamic. But that's, the, that's my favorite part of this movie. You get to see all these different love dynamics and just see how pure and powerful each one is. And of course, you know, we go through the emotional scenes, but there's a lot of joy in this film, too. Uh, did it uh, kind of teach you, as you know, you think about the real life people, that you have to find the joy in your life where, where you can, and, you know, no matter the time or the place? Yeah, I think that was the biggest takeaway from this experience is that, you know, that was Zach's message, right? You don't need to learn that you're dying to start living. Um, what a simple but beautiful and huge comment to make and um, such a great lesson for all of us. And um, I think especially at a time like this when we're in this pandemic where it's so easy to become negative and go into fear and anxiety and panic mode, um, to remember to be present and to be there for your loved ones and to appreciate where you are and to choose not to be in fear is a, is a, a big lesson to take on and a good one, I think, an important one right now. And then uh, I, I guess, uh, Finn, if I can ask, you know, um, if, if they, if you had friends who hadn't heard this song or didn't know um, too much about it, how did you first explain this story to them? Well, I mean, uh, 
Clouds is the story of a young 17-year-old, Zach Sobiak, who, when faced with the terminal diagnosis of osteosarcoma, used his music and his song Clouds to say goodbye to his family and friends and connect with people and tap into a sense of universal love. And that's what I experienced when I listened to Clouds. And that's what I think everyone experiences. It's a great song on the surface level. It's well-written and it is catchy. And then when you learn the story, you realize how deep it goes and how profound the lyrics are. And uh, Zach was a person of much depth and he was wise beyond his years. And I think that comes through in this music. You can, you can feel it. And the more you learn about his story, the more how heartwarming it is. Like every time I hear that song now, just the first three notes, like dun, dun, dun. I just, something happens in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm excited to share this movie, this retelling of Zach's story and uh, have more people fall in love with Zach's song. Well, I think that's amazing. And more important, I think that honesty right there kind of shows the honesty you gave the character as well. So I thank you both so much. I hope you are healthy, safe, and uh, entertained as well. So have a great day. Thanks. Thanks.